What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Ron G, and I'm coming back with another informative video. For some of you guys who are actually new to this channel because you kind of stumbled upon the talk of Kanye West Sunday service, I always do a lot of sneaker reviews. Very seldom I ever talk about uh, current events, but this is actually one of the events that I was a part of and I like to share my experience, especially since there's a lot of light shined on Kanye West and some of his recent advancements in the news, in his music, and in society. First of all, I want to talk about how the event went. Baton Rouge did not know that Kanye West was going to be coming down here. I was literally sitting in my office when somebody came along, one of my employees, and said, hey, Kanye West coming down here. Are you going to the event? He ain't lying. And I was like, nah, he's not coming down here. Guy sent me the link via email, Sunday service in Baton Rouge at Bethany. I was off that Saturday, so immediately, no, actually it was a Friday and I wasn't off. I'm gonna purchase tickets, cause I actually thought it was gonna be on a Sunday, but it was a Friday. Bought tickets without even looking at the date, and it was $55. Now keep in mind, there was nothing on the website that said this service was gonna be free. It was $55 and up to 100. I don't remember seeing the option to pay 100, but I bought the $55 ticket. So it's Friday, I'm hyped up, I'm ready to go to the event. I really kind of came to the event thinking it was gonna be shysty. Immediately when I got to the event, it was a, a line of cars, and I actually got there pretty early, two hours before the event was actually supposed to start. I get to the event, right when I get to the parking, they say parking's filled up. I was actually able to park across the street, which is like, very quick walking distance, right? And I don't have to stand in any lines when an event is getting out. I can quickly get out, exit on the main street, I'm out of there. But for all the unfortunate people that were not able to park at Bethany South, they had to park more than half a mile away from the event. In fact, it was, it was definitely a mile away from the event to where a charter bus picked them up from a parking lot a office depot parking lot to be exact and brought them to the church grounds so bam right when we get to the church we up in this long line <laughs> and when I say a long line it was a it was a pretty long line everybody was confused and to pack on to the confusion some girl comes out and said everybody who has a free ticket get to the left free ticket Everybody starts to complain. Oh, you hear a lot of gibbering and jabbering. Free ticket. Nobody said anything about a free ticket. Everybody start complaining. So then that's when the confusion started. Now there's a line to the left with free ticket people. There's a line to the right that, with people that paid. Okay? The people that got the free ticket were actually able to get in the event before the VIP, VIP people that paid. What's up, man? What's up, man? Get your ass up. Oh. <laughs> right when we get an event, there's a stand for food. Okay, so they put a little orange wrist uh, tag around our arm. Kanye West is not at the event yet. We're standing in line for food, and it's this. <laughs> Unbelievable. In fact, to add on to turmoil, when I got there, 
the pancakes were actually gone. <laughs> this is crazy, right? So I'm thinking that the $55, I didn't even know it was actually, I thought it was just 55 to get in the event and you had to pay 100 to eat. Now, the catering service was supposed to be by Ball and Rue. Ball and Rue is actually a restaurant in Baton Rouge that serves Louisiana type cuisine. You got your jambalaya. If you've been to the South, I could go on and on, etc., etc. Fried fish, everything that you would think from the South. The food is actually pretty good. The owner of this place, and I'm going to look over here for a second. It's a guy by the name of Adrian C. Hammond Jr., 28 years old, same age as me. Adrian just spent 12 months and a day in a federal prison following his convictions for bank fraud, money laundering, and obstructing the administration of internal revenues laws. I'm going to put the link in the bottom. You can see who this guy is. It is what it is. So he actually is over the catering service for the event. But he didn't give us ball and rule. He had another side personal catering service that gave us breakfast. All in all, Kanye West and his crew paid for jambalaya meal deals and all these other nice Louisiana cuisine meals and they got breakfast food. Keep in mind, Kanye was not at the event when it started. Okay, he didn't show up to my he didn't show up to like two hours after the event was supposed to start, okay? So, long story, if you read, they actually, Kanye West and his crew paid Boiler Root owner $23,000. Now, let's just do the math. Let's just say 2,000 people paid $50, okay? Because it was at least like 10,000 people at this event, okay? You do the math. And he only paid the guy 23000 of that money. The rest of that money, which was a pretty significant amount of change, probably went to providing for the uh, outstanding sound quality of, of equipment they had. Sing uh, his musicians. And look at this, the church, Bethany said they didn't get a penny off the service, which I find hard to believe that Kanye West was able to utilize this church for free. I, I have, if you know my past, I've been assistant youth pastor for Jimmy Swagger Ministries full-time youth pastor I've preached in number of churches and I've never been to an event where a church has offered their facility for, to somebody for free especially a concert it would be inaccurate to assume that I couldn't exactly not say that this or isn't almost partially incorrect but when the food came out how bad it was and how everybody felt like they got scammed Bethany's name the church was associated in that at which they perfect they said immediately we had nothing to do with it we just offered our grounds for mr west the pastor of that church was actually at the event and he actually spoke and gave the prayer before the service started he had affiliation with the event but of course when it hits the fan nobody wants to take responsibility so let's talk about this guy named adrian now, i don't personally know this guy and he's got to be a smart intelligent young man for him to be able to own restaurants needless to say whatever mistakes he made or whatever laws he broke um to get in federal prison man look a lot of people made a lot of mistakes out there a lot of bad things i don't know the details of it but you know that's neither there nor here this event however it's a shame now the first thing i want y'all to see is this Hammond, Adrian Hammond, said he reached out to Wes recently about bringing his Sunday service show to Baton Rouge, sparking a two-week flurry of activities. Hammond recently returned to life as Baton Rouge restaurant and concert promoter after spending time in federal prison after he was convicted of defrauding a local bank and IRS. Hammond said he turned to Bethany after LSU passed on him, okay? LSU passed on the service, but not Bethany. A university representative said the request was made too late. Driving on Interstate 10 last week, Hammond passed Bethany's three massive crosses. He impulsively took pictures of the crosses and texted them to Wes, who agreed immediately that it was the perfect place for the concert. Now remember, Stockstale 
is the uh is the pastor right now he's the pastor's son uh jonathan stockstill of the facility i could talk about this church in a lot of details we've done a lot of work up in there me and my brother it's amazing the wrongdoings they have done in this church in every church but it's some nasty stuff that was done in that church in fact not to get off the subject but i actually started a christian college at uh, a christian not college a christian club at baton rouge community college back in 2000 and it's amazing they are the church that told me that they didn't want me to start the club unless they were over it it's a shame all the stuff that churches do to try to control people but that's just a depiction of this church it's a beautiful church i'm sure people lives are changed over there but i for a fact i've seen some things over there that's really sketchy 101 Stock still agreed immediately to host a co controversial entertainer and would do so again. He liked that it was happening in the Cayenne's life and wanted it celebrated. Stock still defended his decision, insisting that the pro prominent church made zip on the event. Let's also talk about the event right now before we get back to Adrian. Okay, before the event started, Stock still was there and they were playing old school R&B. <laughs> and on some of the music that was playing before the event which is really crazy because they actually preach against secular music but let's talk about it Kanye West was not even there so we can't blame the fact that they were even playing secular music before the event because once again that was something else talked about but Kanye West wasn't there but the pastor of the church was there the one that said that he had nothing to do with the event let's go back to it this is stock still again all we got was a bunch of tire marks in our yard, food everywhere with ants coming to eat it and left with a bunch of bills we had to get for rental cars. That's it, he told Bethany Congregation. Once again, he says he got no money from Kanye West for the event. And they had to, in fact, pay for the cleanup of the facility, pay for the, uh, what was it again, the rental cars, which was the... Uh, the uh the buses that went to go get the people a mile away to bring them to the church and everything okay probably had to pay for that a lot of police out there probably had to pay for that too uh stock still told the advocate that hammond was great to the deal with oh that hammond was great to deal with that's adrian and he did a great job but admitted it was far from the ideal he said he did it good see that's what i can't stand about this man why not come out as christians to say the truth it was a lie People got scammed, but you can't do that. <laughs> it wasn't the most organized thing in the world, he said, but I don't think nation were ready for the volume of people. That's Adrian's people. Was told by the organization, 3,000 tickets were sold, 3,000 times 50. I'm putting it on the, on the screen right now. And only 23,000 of the money actually went to pay for food. The church got none. So all that money went to Kanye West and his crew. Vince is actually open to the public and is free, Hammond told the advocate. Hammond said West covered most of the expenses, about 500,000 worth, wow. But Hammond said he still opted to sell tickets to help defray his own costs, including the catering, advertisement, security, traffic, control, renting hotels from West large team, et cetera, et cetera. Well, this is crazy because some of the VIP tickets actually sold for $108 also. Uh, but anyway, long story uh, short, Adrian came out and said that he apologized for the event, apologized for the food, and that Kanye West had nothing to do with his failure in providing the people with what they should have gotten. But yet he took our money. <laughs> Quit jiving me, turkey. You got to assess it. A turkey is a bad person. He didn't give anybody refunds. Once a scammer, always a scammer. Church could have came coming out right now and said, you know what? The concert was great. Kanye West was amazing. But the people didn't get nowhere near what they were supposed to get. And it's not right. 
they didn't do that at all because they said they had they got to be goody two shoes that portion was true what you've read but Kanye West was not at fault he was at fault Kanye West himself got scammed off the deal if you think about it because Kanye West and his name attached to stuff he likes things being big he doesn't have to do anything and the fact that this guy's breakfast brunch was attached to Kanye West Sunday service is a shame and Kanye West should have sued him also or should sue him don't be too much of a Christian Kanye to let people do this now to you you've never been this type of guy we should have gotten our money back and you should got you should have gotten your money back for the event let's talk about the actual service that Kanye West hosted start on Monday, but the strong start on Sunday, won't be in bondage to any man, John 8, 3, 3, we the descendants of Abraham, he should be made free, John 8, 3, 6, to whom the sun set free, is free indeed, he saved a wretch like me, hallelujah, 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 amazing that a lot of people around there that were really negative at first and they came in probably just like me expecting some foolery but they got something else I mean the guy who actually was over the praise and worship who was really good into the spirit people were putting their hands up praying it was a lot of people over there like I said it's probably about in my opinion I don't know maybe about 10,000 either 9,000 or 10,000 it was actually an amazing concert Kanye West kids were over there he brought them out I don't know if I showed some footage of that, but they were actually singing a lot of the older Christian songs like Our God is an Awesome God and, you know, a lot of other stuff from before Kanye West even came on the scene saying he was Christian. When kids recite Christian music, it's evident that the actual parents are playing this in their cars or playing this around their kids or encouraging their kids to listen to it. So that was the first thing I saw. The second thing I was really seeing Kanye West smile, you don't see Kanye West smile. And since Kanye West professed to be a Christian, he's actually smiled a lot more. You see a different type of uh, a, a type of like shine on him. Um, I'm never gonna question a man's faithfulness to God. That's between him and, and his God. Uh, I'm not gonna question his heart. That's the one thing in the Bible we're not supposed to judge at all. In fact, the Bible says, judge ye in the same manner ye be judged. It doesn't say we can't judge. 
It's basically saying judge you somebody just like you would want to be judged. And I'm never going to judge somebody's destiny to say if Kanye West is going to heaven or hell or whatever your beliefs is. That's on you. Personally, my beliefs is that I do believe in Jesus Christ. I do believe in salvation. But I also believe in that I can never judge a man's heart before God. I can judge his fruits if I want to hang around him, but not his heart. So I saw a different Kanye West. I've seen Kanye West in concert three times this is my third time and this is a lot different he spazzes he's arrogant um uh, all that crazy stuff we like from Kanye. but you saw something different in this concert he actually looked cheerful uh his heart just looked a lot better if, if that's the kind of quotations you want to put on it but specifically speaking about his decision to become christian also has some type of plan behind it Keep in mind that Kanye West wants to run for president in 2024. Well, Kanye West is seemingly serious about running for president in 2024. Now, he was talking at the Fast Company Innovation Festival yesterday, and he brought it up again. People seem to think it was funny, though. Listen to this. When, when I run for president in 2024, we want to definitely know what y'all laughing at. <laughs> when I run for president in 2024, we would have created so many jobs that I'm back on the run, I'm a walk. As a Republican, every single Republican professes Christ and their love for Jesus and their love for the church. That's like their mind control over a lot of people. And let's just face it, there are a lot of poor Republicans, okay? And when I say that, generally, it's, it's a big portion of one race and they don't even know why they're voting uh, to be, they're voting for a particular stance. They don't know why they're voting for a, a person, yet they vote for if they like Trump or if they like Rasponi or which, whichever type of guy in your community is one guy. I don't want to turn it into a race thing, but generally I would say that somebody's going to vote for whatever, whoever has the their qualities, um, their best qualities at hand okay i'll put it to you like that that's just my beliefs it is what it is you can believe whatever you want to believe but that's the first thing if you want to want to run as republican you have to say you you're a christian you have to say you're against abortion you have to say all these you want to support israel it's funny how you want to support israel but you allow all these mexican immigrants to die but you don't you want to support israel but you allow these other people to die so you see Kanye West is, is, is trying to um, with Kim Kardashian and she's involved also because she wants to be a first lady they're trying to bring the Yeezy uh, line back to America that's the first thing they are trying to do uh, with American workers which is hey good aspiration do it if you can uh, it works out for everybody but uh, they also in his music recently he wants to abolish the 13th amendment which I don't like. I don't like the way the Thirteenth Amendment is written. Um, it basically says that slavery is abolished unless you are in prison. So basically, if you're in jail, you're a prisoner, and I mean, if you're in jail, you're a slave. So it's basically saying if I can get you in jail, I can enslave you. Um, a lot of you who are a little more privileged than others who haven't had any um, any bad uh, involvement in the law. Or, or uh, don't live in the South like we have. I've been pulled over by the police so many times, and the majority of neighborhoods I live in is white. Uh, I've been roughed up. I had my uh, interior of my car ripped out. I've been put in handcuffs for going five miles over the speed limit. So it's very easy for black Americans, especially in the South, to get in trouble with the law. And for them to lie and say that you were fighting back, you were mouthing up, you were doing something in order for them to lock you up. And then there's a three strike rule that Kanye West is really against. So his stance that he's trying to take is that he's a heartwarming Christian. He's out to help people. Blacks in particular is his message, but everybody in general and to make the world a more pleasing place. So once again, I'm not going to judge his heart, but I never trust politicians are people that want to become a politician that's just me when i start to see that i see that there's there's a reasoning behind some of your message 
You know what I'm saying? Some of your messaging, there's actually a reason behind it. These are things that people just don't see. But if you if you take a look at Kanye West now, look at everything he's doing is towards becoming a president, towards uh, putting the money in to try to run for the presidency. I don't see it happening. But then again, I didn't see Kanye West uh, becoming a Christian also. Um, we could go on and on about this in the comment section. Feel free to say what you want. Uh, spaz on me, as Kanye says. You can spaz if you want. This is just my opinion, and um, and you can have your opinion. So once again, it's your boy Ron G. If you want to see uh, shoe reviews, if you kind of stumbled upon my page and you actually like shoes, I do get a lot of releases. Uh, I pretty much only show pretty much the hyped up hot releases and some some items that I really just love, right? Uh, so subscribe if you want to. Until next time, peace.